Are you ready to nail party? I will be using my Competitive Edge Custom Original Double Thick Extra Long Nail Forms, my Extra Adhesion Nail Liquid, my Concrete Jungle Prisma Powder, my Prisma Deep Well Ceramic Dap and Dish, my Silky Matte Top Gel, my Large Flat Kalinsky Red Sable Brush, and my Towelettes. Sanitize, sanitize, sanitize. And I will be using my Crystal Spray Decanter, available in Peach, Gardenia, or Fragrance Free. Sanitize your hands and your client's hands. The nail has already been prepared and I'm going to apply my first coat of primer. Dab it on my towelette so I don't oversaturate the natural nail. Brush it on. And then wipe off my brush before I put it back into the bottle so I don't contaminate my primer. And I let the first coat of primer dry. This kills the germs on the nail and dries out the oils on the nail. Now I'm going to apply my nail form. I split the form. Stick the wings together and then place the curve underneath the free edge. Stick down the sides. Make sure the form is nice and secure. I'm going to flatten it out just a little because this is going to be a square. My first coat of primer dried. Now I'm going to apply my second coat of primer. Wet primer and wet acrylic creates a really great adhesion and helps eliminate lifting. This is going to be a long nail, so I will be using a large free edge ball. Dip your brush all the way into your liquid, only wipe off a little bit of liquid, leaving a lot of liquid in your brush because you want to pick up a lot of powder to create a long ball. Place this ball out towards the middle of the form. Let it flow. One, two, three until it gets a little surface tension. Then you can start patting it, bring up the sides, bring up the sides, start patting it out. This is going to be just past the seven mark. Pat it across. Get it nice and square. Get this ball just how you like it. This creates the shape of your nail. There we go. Straight out, straight out. The second ball is also going to be a large ball. Dip your brush in. Only wipe off a little bit of liquid. Again, picking up a large ball. Not, not as large as the first ball, but pretty big. Place this ball slightly overlapping the nail bed. Let it flow. Pat it out, stroke it out, blending it in with your first ball, stroke it out, straight out from the nail groove, straight out from the nail groove, get it nice and even, nice and smooth. Wipe off your brush. My next ball is going to be a small ball. Dip your brush in. Wipe off more liquid, so I only have a little bit of liquid in my brush. Only drag a little bit in my powder. Place this ball halfway down the nail bed. Let it flow, one, two, three, and then stroke it out. Side, side, center. My next ball is also going to be a small ball. This is the cuticle ball. Dip your brush in, wipe it away, less liquid. You leave less liquid in your brush. You pick up a smaller ball. Place this ball 1 32nd of an inch away from the cuticle. Press down, let it flow, and then stroke it out, side, side center. There we go. Get it nice and even around the edges. Get 
Now we're going to apply the stress ball. This has a pretty good amount of product on it. So the stress ball is only going to be a small to medium ball. Dip your brush in, wipe it away from you, drag towards you. That's a little bit too small. Dip your brush in, wipe it away, drag towards you. Place this ball almost at the cuticle area. Let it flow. There we go. Stroke it out, side, side, center. Wipe off your brush. When the nail is no longer shiny, I'm going to squeeze the C-curve right before it gets hard. Start at the nail bed, work your way out towards the tip. The C-curve makes the nail nice and narrow and makes it really strong. So I'm applying even pressure. Since this is a square, I want it to be nice and even going straight out. There we go. Now I'm going to remove the nail form. I like to pinch together the form, release it from the nail. It comes off really easy. I will be using my disposable long lasting zebra file and my disposable clean finish buffer. And this buffer is not made out of paper, it's made out of material. So you can use it with oil, you can use it with water, and you can use it dry. And it doesn't leave any grit on the nail. Very easy to put these files on your boards. Just hold your board. Stick on your file. You'll hold the board and then just like even if the file first gets on there really even. But if you don't get it on there even, don't worry. Just do it again. Now I'm going to score the edges of my zebra file so when I file around the cuticle, it's nice and smooth. And I'll be using my etcher that I used previously to prepare my nail. Then I can just throw it away. I will be filing my nail in five steps. My step number one is straight out from the nail groove on the left. Hold the finger in the nail securely. File straight out. Step number two, file straight out from the nail groove on the right. Again, holding the finger in the nail securely. File straight out. Step number three is shaping the tip of the free edge. This is going to be a square, so I hold my file straight up and down, hold the nail securely, file straight across. Step number four is the top of the nail in the cuticle area. File down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side, down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side. And there's a little road around the cuticle area where you have product, natural nail cuticle. I'm going to place my file in that little road and file the product flush with the natural nail. Get it nice and smooth. You're going to be filing in a horseshoe pattern down on the side, across the top, down on the other side. You never want to just file straight across, you're going to flatten out your nail. And you want to keep that nice arch on the nail. Down on the side, across the top, down on the other side. Step number five, turn the nail around from the client's angle and bevel down towards the tip. This is the angle the client's going to be looking at for the next two weeks and you want to make sure it looks beautiful from their angle. Get it nice and smooth. After I've finished my five steps in filing, I like to go back and check the angles on my nail. Make sure the sides come straight out, especially on a square nail. Good. Check my tip. Check my curve. Yep, looks good. Now I'm going to buff the nail with my clean finish buffer. 
down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side, go around the cuticle, make sure you get it nice and smooth. Down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side. Hold the finger and the nail securely. Go out towards the tip. Get it nice and smooth. Take off the sharp edges. Have the client go wash their hands with a peach antibacterial soft suds and a plastic manicure brush. Now I'm going to apply Silky Matte, a no wipe matte top gel. This is going to look so cool. I can't wait to see it finished. Nice long strokes. Cover the entire nail. Make sure you get it all the way up close to the cuticle. And very gently, I'm going to cap the tip. I don't want it to get thick. Cure one minute in an LED or two minutes in a UV. Now you have your long square matte concrete jungle acrylic nail. And it's so easy to clean up. Just peel off your strip. They stick really good. There we go. Disinfect your plastic boards. Fold up your disposable towel and throw everything away. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And remember, at Tammy Taylor Nails, nails are always fun and never feel like work.